Hello, everyone. The Chinese series begins with the girl Ming, who owns a large shopping mall. She seems to get out of her car, and it's clear that she has a strong personality and makes irreversible decisions. For example, she fired the mall sales department manager just because she discovered that the place where he works isn't clean. Ming walks past the mall's cosmetic store, and the store manager, young Alan Inning, seems to have been looking at her with admiration since her first day working at the mall. However, Alan still treats her like a manager and thinks nothing of developing his relationship with her. Suddenly, Ming's manager tells her that the welcome party is today. Ming looks at her manager and says she refuses to be at the welcome party. Suddenly, a woman has already bought some items at the mall, but she's not impressed with the quality of the products she's bought. Then she gets into big trouble with the girl in charge of the store where she bought the products. Ming tries to stay calm in the face of a very angry woman. She has spoken arrogantly to this woman, but fortunately, Alan intervenes intelligently and uses kind words to convince the woman not to cause trouble. He then takes her to his store to replace the products and the problem is resolved in a simple and healthy way. Ming's interest in Alan increases after his clever intervention to solve the problem. Ming's manager notices that she likes Alan and takes the opportunity to tell her that Alan will be attending the welcome party. Ming decides to attend the party and, after drinking a lot of wine, becomes partially unconscious. She enters the bathroom where Alan is, surprised to see her enter. Alan tries to calm her down and get her out of the bathroom, but Ming wants his trouser belt and quickly runs outside. Alan tries to catch her until he finds her. Ming talks about her love for Elijah and says that anyone who recognizes her should fall in love with her. Alan responds to Ming by saying that what she says isn't true as he isn't considered one of the people who would like to fall in love with her. The next day... Ming strolls through the mall and notices a customer entering Alan's store. It's clear that she likes him as she stays with him for a long time on the pretext of shopping. Ming gets up, notices what's going on, but is unable to bear it. She enters the store and speaks badly to the customer, who is annoyed by her behavior. Ming then tells her that she'd like to move her elsewhere as she refuses to talk too much to the girls. Alan rejects Ming's idea and tells him that he's more useful in the store where he currently works. It's clear that Ming is very jealous and responds to Alan by saying that she understands that he is someone who likes to deal with beautiful girls who want to buy products from him. But Alan asks his permission and returns to his work. The scene shifts to a gym owner named John who is standing with an athlete. Meng also arrives to work out, but John quickly goes to talk to her as he's obviously very interested in seeing or talking to her someday. Oh, some of the workers have previously caused trouble in the mall by breaking anything and disturbing those present. They claim that the mall owner is a swindler because she sells all the products for more than their original price. They want to tell Ming that the worker's aim is to discredit the mall and get back at her. Ming notices that the situation is out of control then stands in front of the workers and tells each of them that they've been fired because of their mistakes. For example, one of the workers was using his phone while on the job, while the second wasn't paying attention to personal hygiene, causing customers to leave the center. The workers become even angrier and start breaking things again. Joe intervenes and tries to calm down one of the workers, but he lashes out at Ming. Just then, Alan sees what's going on from a distance and seems unimpressed by Ming's actions. Alan notices one of the workers trying to hit Ming, then steps in and takes the blow for him. He hits the man and leaves the scene with Ming, who holds his hand and looks at him with admiration. This admiration increases even more than before. However, Alan begins to scold Ming for the way she talks and treats people. He tells her he won't defend her next time if there's another problem at the mall. Ming arrogantly responds by telling him that she is the mall manager and that Alan can't be afraid of anyone. Ming tries to provoke Alan by saying that he looks worried and could certainly leave them. But Alan looks at her and then leaves. Alan, in this scene, 
is standing in one of the school corridors, and it's clear that he also works as a part-time English teacher. Alan is surprised by the arrival of a girl who tells him that Madame Ming is waiting to have dinner with her. The girl gives Alan a piece of paper with the address and date of the meeting, but Alan throws it in the garbage can, and at dinner he doesn't go. Ming waits for him, at the same time practicing how to address and behave with him. Uh, but her manager arrives and tells her that Alan won't be coming to dinner with her. Ming gets very angry and leaves the restaurant, then visits Alan in the English language school and asks him why he hasn't accepted her invitation to dine with her. But Alan responds by saying he was busy. Ming suggests that Alan become his own driver and also asks him what salary he'd like to receive, but Alan refuses and tells her he's happy with his current job. Ming looks at Alan and asks him why he is always rejected, but Alan ignores him and enters the classroom to continue his work. <laughs> the next day, Ming warms up. She is surprised by the return of her fiancé, Ginshi, from his trip, having lived in the U.S. to study and earn a Ph.D. It's clear that Ginshi is a person who only cares about money, as he only talks about the price of everything. He then tells Ming that his parents will have a meeting tomorrow to discuss the fate of their relationship. So Ming seems to agree only for her parents' sake, as she doesn't like having Ginshi around and doesn't want to marry him. The next day, at the mall, Alan meets the girl who got into trouble with the woman who bought the shoddy products. The girl thanks Alan for helping her, and Alan discovers from talking to her that Ming didn't fire her from the job, but moved her elsewhere. Then the girl leaves. Alan begins to change his view of Ming and realizes that she's not a bad girl. Then he sees her at the center and, contrary to expectations, Alan wants to get closer to Ming. Maeus, Alan's daughter and little sister, who is a co-student, comes to visit her brother, Alan. Alan takes care of his family's expenses after accumulating debts on his father, but he no longer knows how to deal with his father's debts. The next day, Alan and Ming go on a trip with a group of employees who work at the mall and start playing. Alan tries to tease Ming, saying she's playing a little girl, even though she's an older girl. Alan obviously teases her, and at the end of the day, Alan can't find Ming. He then starts looking for her until he finds her sitting alone drinking wine, away from the staff. Alan asks Ming what she's doing at then asks everyone's permission and heads to the mall. When she pushes Ming, she meets Alan, and the two stand without speaking, and they leave without saying a word. But Alan decides to call Ming, who is very happy, but tries to hide her joy. She asks him what he wants, and Alan apologizes to her for what happened between them last year. He claims she's forgotten what happened between them, but Alan again asks her curious questions about who was with her in the mall. Ming begins to worry a little about herself, and then tells him that he has no right to know the identity of the person who was with her. Alan tries to leave the premises, and is annoyed by Ming's words which stop him. He tells her that all mall employees will be evaluated, and that Alan must take part in the test immediately. Then she asks him to prove that he can sell her Alan any can product. sell the product in his own way, and it seems that he has passed the test. But no one congratulates him, saying he failed the test. Alan is surprised by Ming's decision and asks him why he failed, but Ming steps out and suggests that he become her boyfriend for a month in exchange for winning the test. She gives him two days to think about the offer, then leaves the place in her car. But she looks in the car's rearview mirror and notices a girl running up to Alan and hugging him. She thinks he's having an affair with her. The place? But Ming asks him to leave her alone and tells her that he still sees her as a bad girl. But Ah responds by saying that what she's saying isn't true, and it's clear that Ah La Lane also Ming is crying on Alan's shoulder because of her excessive drinking. Alan laughs, then pulls her aside. The next day, John asks Ming why she disappeared yesterday, but no one remembers the conversation she had with Alan. Ming answers John by saying she doesn't remember anything. After the exercise is over, Ming goes to the mall and is surprised by the presence of her fiancé, Ginshi, who is holding a bouquet of roses. 
Ginchi presents Ming with the bouquet of roses, then opens the box containing the ring he wishes to give her as a gift. But to his surprise, he discovers that the box is empty because the seller has refused to put the ring in it due to Ginchi's drowning in debt. Everyone watches as Ginchi fights with the salesman who refuses to give him a ring. Ming leaves the scene after the embarrassment of her fiancé Ginchi trying to catch up with her until he reaches the store where Alan works. He asks her to dine with him at the restaurant, but Ming refuses his request and holds Alan's hand, saying she'll go out with him. Ginchi is surprised by Ming's actions and tries to force her to go out with him. Alan confronts Ginchi and asks him about his relationship with Ming. Alan then reveals that he is Ming's fiancé, which surprises everyone. Ming seems very happy with Alan's reaction and refuses to leave with Ginchi. The next day in English class, Elan is ill and one of the students offers to look after him at home. Alan refuses, but Ming suddenly appears and takes all the medicine the student had given Alan, throwing it in the garbage can. She accompanies Alan home to take care of him. <clears throat> it becomes clear that the admiration between them is growing. Ming enters the kitchen and does housework for the first time in her life, as she had always lived in luxury. Alan wants to confess his love to Ming, but she's embarrassed and tries to leave. However, she meets Alan's sister and remembers that she is the girl she consoled. She realizes that she is Alan's little sister and feels relieved. However, she notices that the sister is jealous of her and decides to stay away from Alan so as not to create a family conflict. Ming goes to the store where Alan works and meets Xiao, who works with him. She ignores Alan and talks to Xiao, who offers to shoot a cosmetics commercial instead of Ming. Ming accepts, but Alan discovers the truth and asks Ming to sit down and talk with him. They end up having dinner together at Alan's house, where he confesses his love for her. Ming seems very happy with his confession, and Alan promises to quickly resolve the problem of his sister's attachment. The next day, Ming, Alan, and Xiao prepare to travel to shoot the commercial. At the hotel, Xiao notices that Alan is very interested in Ming and tries to make a smart move by asking Ming to shoot the commercial with Alan instead on the pretext that she's ill. Eventually, Ming and Alan manage to shoot the commercial together and all the photos are displayed in the mall. Everyone notices how well Ming and Alan match Alan convinces his sister to talk to Ming and solve her problem at the university thanks to his extensive connections. It becomes clear that Ming and Alan's relationship is evolving without barriers or problems and they can finally begin their life together without the interference of Alan's jealous sister. Alan. Subscribe and activate the notification button and add a like and share with your friends.